All right, sitting down in the break room on game day. Got to represent our boys. Uh, but wanted to give a little bit of an update on the Hassan Reddick situation, or at least give you guys my thoughts on the Hassan Reddick situation. I know you guys have been following it. The uh, the last little bit here, basically the entire season. Uh, so if you did not know Hassan Reddick over the weekend, part ways with his representation, or his representation parted ways with him, actually, uh, because he had some sort of dispute with a business partner where he owes him like $1.6 million or something along those lines. And he has since hired new representation in the form of Drew Rosenhaus. Uh, so per Adam Schefter, this just in, Jets hold out. Hassan Reddick has hired Drew Rosenhaus and Ryan Matha as his new agents. Rosenhaus and Matha already have spoke with the Jets and are attending tonight's game versus Buffalo. We look forward to working with the Jets to get this resolved as soon as possible, Rosenhaus said. Hassan would like to be a New York Jet for years to come, and our goal is to make that happen. So I'm not exactly sure that <laughs> feelings mutual. As I'll be honest, look, I don't really, I have no interest in extending Hassan Reddick beyond a one-year Band-Aid contract. From what we heard, uh, which I should actually have pulled up right here, but the Jets offered him a new contract recently that would have given him uh, payment above and beyond what he was scheduled to make for this year, while also allowing him to cash in for next year. So obviously it was a one-year Band-Aid type contract. Similar to what we heard, I guess, back in, what was it, May or June, whenever we initially heard it, uh, and he had turned that deal down as well. So, look, Hassan Reddick seems to have maybe realized, or, or maybe not <laughs> so much yet, that he has made a very big miscalculation, and it seems like he's going to cost himself a whole heck of a lot of money. Uh, as far as his impact on the team and tonight's game, I think a lot of it will have to do with how the Jets perform today. I, I feel that way sort of with the Devontae Adams rumors and trades. Like if the Jets were to drop tonight's game to Buffalo, that puts us in a really uh, tough spot, especially if we don't look competitive or anything like that. So if the Jets wind up winning, maybe Hassan Reddick has a little bit more of a leg to stand on because the Jets are more you know, confident that they can make it to the playoffs or whatever. And maybe uh, some type of deal gets done. I, I still do not want to go the route of a multi-year contract. I don't think someone who has given you his word and then wants to back out on that is worthy of that type of deal. So uh, you guys can let me know. What do you think? Hassan Reddick, is he actually going to show up for the Jets? Do you think the Jets wind up trading him maybe to a team like the Detroit Lions, who just lost Aiden Hutchinson for the season with a t uh, broken tibia? I believe was the the, the diagnosis. Uh, they need an edge rusher over there. Could the Jets possibly get some type of cooperation with them to get a pick back? Or does this guy, has he just made himself completely toxic? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets! Jets!